Hi, this is Richard Booth, PGA Professional at Hale Golf Club, and welcome to my backyard for a video on how to improve your chipping. So we're going to start from this angle with a down the line view, and this is just looking at chip shots which are just a few metres in length. Um, I've got a sand iron here, um, just because I'm trying to chip it into a plant pot, but um, quite often this is a shot you play on the course with something like a seven iron or a pitching wedge, and the idea is that it's just going to fly a little way and then it's going to run out nicely to the green. Big part of this shot is the setup, so we're going to concentrate on that to start with. You can see here I'm making use of my winter mat. So uh, what's important is to uh, get the setup right for this shot. So we want the heel to be off the ground, it to be toe down, which means the shaft is going to be more vertical than it would normally be. So I'm going to set up in that fashion. I'm going to grip down so I'm nearly on the metal of the shaft. Okay, so now let's take a look from the other angle. So uh, again, regarding the setup, we've gripped down, we've got the club more vertical, I've got a very narrow stance, I've got a little bit of weight on the left side, I've got a tiny bit of forward lean, that's a lot of forward lean, this is just a tiny bit. Uh, I'm not able to hit shots from here, I just haven't got the space, but regarding the swing, the back swing and the forward swing are going to be similar. And we're just trying to get that nice brush of the mat. So just something else to consider with the actual swinging motion. So obviously your arms go back and forward, that's part of the motion, but more subtly there should be a little bit of wrist hinge back and forward. So uh, as my arms swing back, my wrists go back a little bit and as they go forward, my wrists go forward a little bit as well. If you've got the grip pressure right, this makes it a lot easier, but you'll find that if you do this, it just gives it a lot more flow and you'll get a better strike from it. So run it being very stiff and wooden, you just get yourself where there's just a tiny bit of give to it and uh, it will make for a better strike. So that's all for today's chipping video. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got something useful out of it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, uh, so please drop me a line and thank you very much for watching. So until next time.